Topic 2. Diluted EPS. Diluted EPS shows the lowest possible number EPS could be if all the dilutive potential shares were issued. Dilutive means that when adding an element into the EPS equation, it lowers EPS. It takes into account anything that could cause shares to be issued. Options, contingently issuable shares, convertible securities, etc. Essentially, we want to see the worst that earnings per share could have been during the year. The process. The process starts with calculating basic EPS as shown in topic one. Then you identify all potential common shares or PCS. Calculate the individual dilutive effects of each type of co potential common shares, sort of like mini incremental EPS. You then rank them from most dilutive, so the worst ones, to the least dilutive. You add one by one of these mini incremental EPS to the overall EPS calculation until it lowers the EPS lower than the dilutive effect of the next individual item. Options are only dilutive if they are in the money. If they weren't in the money, then nobody would exercise them. Friendly reminder, in the money options have an exercise price lower than the current market price. There are no adjustments to the numerator because remember, the numerator has to do with net income. And when people exercise options, even if they pay cash to exercise such options, cash does not impact net income. We then would adjust the denominator by adding the amount of shares that would be issued if in the money options were exercised using the average share price for the year, and at the same time, deduct the amount of shares that would need to be repurchased if the company used the proceeds for the in the money options to immediately repurchase the shares. So in essence, what you're doing is you're adding the total number of EPS in the denominator Pardon me, you're adding the total denominator by the amount of free shares that in the money incremental amount would purchase. When looking for at adjustable convertible securities, we treat these securities into common shares as if they had been converted at the beginning of the year or when they were issued, if they were issued during the year. We would adjust the numerator by adding back preferred share dividends or after-tax interest that would have been saved if they had been converted at the beginning of the year. We would adjust the denominator by adding shares that would be issued if the securities were converted. Contingent shares. There is no adjustment to the numerator. If the contingency period has not expired and the conditions are met as of the end of the year, we would include the contingently issuable shares in the denominator. A question. Dolphin Inc. has 2,000 options outstanding that allow the holder to purchase common shares for $25. The average market price of Dolphin shares during the year is 30. How many shares would be added to the denominator when Dolphin adds these options to their dilutive EPS calculation? Would it be 2,000, B, 1,667, C, 333, or D, 2,400? The correct answer is C, 333. These options are in the money because the holder can purchase them for 25, yet the average market price for Dolphin is 30. The company would receive 2,000 times 25 or $50,000 upon issuing of these shares, and they would need to repurchase, they would need to repurchase 50,000 divided by 30, or 1,667 shares. 
the net effect, the freebie shares, if you will, would be the difference, the 2,000 minus the 1,667 for a total of 333 shares added to the denominator. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.